I got these two small three horse outboard motors for free from my buddy at work. Uh, his dad moved and he had them sitting around and just didn't feel like fooling with them anymore. He said that they were both running motors, but haven't been ran in a really long time. Uh, this, I run the numbers on this one the other day. I think it's a 62, 63 Evinrude. And then we got this old junky game fisher, which I do not like game fisher motors. I've never had one that just ran good. Uh, they look to be pretty complete, minus a prop on the game fisher. I don't know how hard it would be to find one of those. But I don't know. Figure why not do a little video on them and see if I can't get them running. I'd really like to put one of them, whichever one runs better, on that little blue boat might make it run faster because these are so much lighter weight than that four stroke three and a half that's on it and you know two strokes make a lot more rpm higher rpm so if we can get one i'm running maybe we can take it for a spin and see how it does all right let's uh see what all we got to work with here all right this motor right here is not turning over i took the pull rope assembly off and it's actually it's working right so it's uh stuck apparently hopefully it's just the rings are stuck i know it was stored indoors but uh hopefully maybe just the rings got a little corroded or something maybe we can break it free and go ahead and pull the spark plugs out and see if we can't get this thing freed up yeah we're gonna have to soak this one down the cylinders and let it soak for a couple of days Uh, it's a little one cylinder. Hmm. Interesting <laughs> setup on that car. Let's see if this one's locked up. No. <laughs> Got some dirt daubers coming out of it. All right, let's uh let's pull this spark plug and see if we got spark. Looks like it's got pretty good compression. A little bitty spark plug. Got real good spark. I see that. Would be the one that I can get to run that ain't got all the parts for it. Um, I don't know. Should we uh, just try to throw some some juice down it and see what it does? I uh, probably ought to take that off and and at least check the bowl real fast. See what it looks like. How's it on there? Oh my gosh, two screws that are impossible to get to. I'll have to take this cover off probably. All right. Sure we ain't got no gas in here. Ooh, got some old funky gas. All right, let's, uh, let's see about getting this cover off so we can get to this little carve. That wasn't too bad. Let's see if we can get this bowl off. Easier just take the whole carb off. Which I'll probably end up having to do anyways. <laughs> just got a free floating float in it. It don't look too bad in there. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than that. Hmm. <laughs> That's neat how the little needle and seat are on this thing. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. Let me show you guys. See how the float just floats, if you will. And then I guess it, when it fills up, it pushes up on this thing. And then it, it makes the needle seat in there and shuts it off. So I ain't never seen one like that. I guess that's your pick up your jet I don't know I probably ought to go ahead and take it out if I can see what it looks like yeah a little jet is completely clogged sure probably ain't showing up too good in here but you can't see no light through it 
go ahead and clean this out real quick. Bought a card kit for that 25 horse Evan Rude off Amazon. It came with this little brush set for cleaning cards. It's kind of neat. Usually I just use a piece of wire, but these are a little bit bigger. They're different sizes. Let me find one that works. There we go. Right. Let's see if we can see daylight through there now. All right, you see it? How it's open now? Right, should be good to go. I'm assuming this thing probably only has one jet on it. Uh, I might go ahead and just spray a little carb cleaner around here and then the bowl, clean it out and put it back together and uh, see what it does. Okay. Really, I ought to take this gas tank off and clean it. It is pretty funky. Hopefully, these straps don't break on me. Let's see. Hmm, they're in pretty good shape. Make sure this bit fuel line on the bottom. That's one way to get it off. I don't know how well it's gonna pick up, but it's got some black sludge in there and try to get most of that out. Probably just old two stroke oil and the gas probably evaporated and just left the oil behind. I'll clean this up and it's like a spider in there too. Clean this up and then we'll put it all back together. I need to re need to top my little bottle off again. I don't know if that was enough or not. Might be enough to do something. Let's see. <sighs> Wanting to run though. So, anyways, I took this off and everything looks pretty good. Cleaned it up. Took this little fuel filter off, which does not even have a fuel filter in it. But it has some of that oily grime in it. Cleaned it out. Hose was actually clogged up. I cleared it out. The only really other thing I want to do is kind of clean this little fuel line off. We'll put everything back together and see what it does, actually. And, and I'm going to put the gas tank back on, too, and probably the motor cover. You know, see, see what it does. We got it all back together. Pour a little this 50 to 1 in here. Spill it everywhere. Dude, I well, I've been messing with this little thing for a little bit, the past couple of days, just coming out here and fooling with it. And yesterday, I noticed the clear fuel line that went from the fuel filter to the carb just had fuel going up to where before it kicked back over. Uh, if you unplugged it, fuel would run out. And then, of course, if you unscrewed the float bowl, like hardly anything would come out of it. So it wasn't getting fuel to the bowl for whatever reason i think because of this fuel filter 
it's got a restriction or something. I blew it out the other day with carb cleaner, but it took me a little bit to get a flow going through. But anyhow, what I ended up doing is just taking a fuel line straight from the tank to the carb. Well, I think I'm getting fuel to the bowl now because I don't have that restriction anymore, even though it, I know it needs some kind of fuel filter. I can pick up an inline one if I decide to run this motor, but it still was not firing. This, this, I did this this morning. It still wasn't firing. I took the plug out and tried to check for spark again, and I noticed it was sparking. It seemed to be fine. I was just kind of tightening the, the spark plug by hand, but I thought, you know, why not go ahead and tighten it down, you know, pretty snug in there with a socket, and <laughs> I cranked it up, and sure enough, it caught the first pull. So I'll uh, let you guys see. I, I haven't run it very long, just for maybe a minute, so. Uh, hopefully it won't make a fool of me right now. All right, here we go. They seem to be running pretty good. There's a lot of bad opinions about these motors on there and I'm one to give it. But I mean, this one is doing what it's supposed to do as of right now. I'd like to get it out in the water and see what it does. The only boat that I got that would really work for it is a little blue boat. And if I get a chance, I'll try it out, see what it does. Shoot, it might, it might surprise me. I know this thing weighs a lot less than that Dickham Mercury three and a half uh, four stroke. So it might impress me. Also, I talked to the guy I got these motors from, and this one was a parts motor. He asked me if I remembered the, the Evan Rude, did it have parts missing, and I said no. But now that I get to looking at it, it's missing a fuel line. It had something right here, and uh, last night at work, or early this morning, I, I told him, and he said, yeah, I think he had two of these motors. One was a parts, and then the other was supposedly a good motor, good running motor the last time he had it. So he said he'd get me the other motor as soon as he could and the prop for this little motor right here. He said it's somewhere at his dad's house, so. All right, uh, maybe I can do another video of that motor, but uh, I guess I'm gonna call this one complete unless I can get a chance to get out and try it out. Well, all right, dudes, somebody came and got my little blue boat, so I couldn't do a side-by-side -side test. Would have been a really cool test to compare that little three-horse Game Fisher versus the Mercury. I really do think that Game Fisher probably would have gave us a little more speed uh, for the sheer fact that two strokes have higher RPM, and that thing was light as a feather. I went ahead and put a prop on it. I'm not sure if I said that in the video or not. I found the cheapest prop I could on Amazon, 
and had to do a little bit of tinkering to make it work. Just one of them cheap plastic props. I think it was 15 bucks. I put it on there and it, it worked good. And I ended up throwing it on Marketplace and in two days, somebody come and got it from me, 150 bucks. Uh, the motor was given to me and I think I had what the fuel line, you know, some gas and that prop. So what, less than 50 bucks in the thing. So $100, you know, in what, maybe three or four hours worth of labor, which I guess if you, if you add in your labor when you're messing with the boats, you're gonna be, you're gonna have a bad time, uh, at least with my experience. So, uh, does this change my opinion of game fishers? I think that is the fifth Galo game fisher motor that I have acquired and seems to be the best running one yet. So no, I don't think they're great motors by any means, but can they run good? Yes. And if you come across one that's like a heck of a deal, I mean, I say go for it. Uh, you know, 50 bucks for a little bitty motor that, you know, supposedly needs a carb clean. And if that's all it is, just a little tinkering, I mean, I'm no outboard whiz by any means. And I was able to get that motor running. So I'm pretty sure that you guys can do the same. A lot of times you see the motors going really cheap, at least around here on Marketplace, because they have a bad reputation. And almost every time, it's always, it's always something with just about everything you buy. You know, ran when parked, needs a carb clean, or something like that. So, I mean, if you can get it cheap enough, yeah, I'd say go for it. You know, it's worth a shot. Nothing else. What else are you going to do? So, I'm going to keep my eyes open from little game fishers. Now, um, I, I do know a, a little bit more about outboards now than I did when I owned the previous motors. So, and I have a little more confidence in working on them. So, you know, that will help a little bit. I mean, at their core, they're very basic motors. So, I mean, as long as you got spark, fuel, compression, and, you know, of course, airflow, they should run. Them little game fishers are everywhere. So, if you've ever been on the fence of getting one, and you're on a budget, uh, or you just got a little extra money laying around and you got some time on your hands and you want to fool with one, I'd say go for it. I mean, uh, worst case scenario, you got a new boat anchor. So uh, it's a win-win no matter what. Well, all right, dudes, I really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, this might be my last video of the year because, I mean, this time of year, no one watches boat videos. So that's kind of why I've been throwing out this mixed content after this, after I got done with this boat. That's stuff I have done previously, and I uh, just thought I'd throw out there on a video that's a little bit of filler. But uh, like I said, really, no one watches boat videos, at least my boat videos, until like late January. It really only through like September, maybe. Uh, once it starts cooling off, I guess all the people up north just kind of shut down when it comes to fishing and boats and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm not a algorithm whiz, <laughs> just like I'm not an outboard whiz. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoy hunting and if you're still fishing, enjoy your fishing and whatever you're gonna do, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever, have a good one. And I hope to see you guys, who knows, I might go buy a boat project today and work on it. But as of right now, uh, I'm signing out until probably 2024. I appreciate all the support. See you guys on the next one.